In this video I'm going to quickly talk about place value and then I'm going to talk about rounding and significant figures. So place value tells us that digits have different values depending on their position in a number. So for example I could have a three digit number and I would know the first digit represents the units, how many units I have. The second digit represents the tens, how many, did, how many tens I have. And the third digit represents the hundreds. Um, and I could keep going to thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, etc. Um, this number could also have a decimal point in it. And I could have a certain number of numbers after the decimal point. And I would know that the first number after the decimal point represents the tenths. The second number after the decimal point represents the hundredths. And the third number represents the thousandths. And I could keep going that way as well. So just as you go to the left, the numbers get bigger. As you go to the right, the fractions of amounts get smaller. And that's place value. It's really important that you remember um, what those place values represent. Okay, let's move on to rounding. You might get a question that asks you to round to the nearest tenth. And you'll be given a number like 15.19184. The first thing you need to do is recognize which numbers it which number is in the tenths place. Uh, so you need to notice that the one, the first number after the decimal point is the, is the tenth. And I need to round off to that one. So how do we round off to a tenth? Well, we look at the number next to the one, next door to the one. We could highlight that. And that number is a nine. So you remember how to round numbers if it's five or more, you add one more. If it's four or less, you let it rest. So I need to round this off to the nearest tenth. Because that nine is five or more, I need to add one to that one in the tenths place. This will be 15.2. Now just I use a squiggly equal sign because that's um, approximately or uh, that's the sign used for rounding numbers. Okay, you might get a question asking you to round to the nearest hundredth. So, again, we need to underline which number is in the hundredths place. And here I've got a zero in the hundredths. Then you look at the number next door. And you can highlight that. So here I've got a zero in the hundredths place and a seven next door in the thousandths place. So is it five or more? Yes, it is. So five or more, add one more. This is going to be 0 0.01. Okay. And you can also be asked to round to the nearest thousandth. Again, underline the number in the thousandths. The eight. So remember the nine, the first nine after the decimal point, that's tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Then we need to look at the number next door in the ten thousandths place. Is it five or more? No, it's four or less. Four or less, let it rest. So this number rounded to the nearest thousandth is going to be, going to be 127.9 nine eight and that's rounding to the nearest tenth hundredth and thousandth now you need to know is the des is the language used around these types of questions sometimes it might ask you to round to a certain decimal place for example it might ask you to round to two decimal places and you might be given a number like two point one two three, four. 
the decimal place is how many places after the decimal point that number is. So, for example, if you're asked to round this number to two decimal places, you count one, two after the decimal point. And the number in the second decimal place there is the 2. So you'd be rounding off two hundredths there. So the 1 is in the first decimal place, the 2 is in the second decimal place, the 3 is in the third decimal place, and the 4 is in the fourth decimal place. And that's decimal places. The other thing you need to know about when rounding numbers is significant figures. Um, a question might ask you, for example, to round off to three significant figures. So let's have a look at these two examples here. My first number is 535.56. So what is the first significant figure? Well, it's the first number, starting from the left, it's the first number that is not a zero. So in this number, 535.56, the first significant figure is the five. The second significant figure is the three. And the third significant figure is the third number from the left, which is 5. Have a look at the second example, 0 0.002013. Now, the first significant figure in this number is the first number that's not starting from the left. It's the first number that's not a 0. So the first significant figure in this number is actually the 2. The second significant figure is the zero after the two. We do count the zeros after the first significant figure. The zeros before it we ignore, but the zeros after the first significant figure we do include. So the third significant figure in this number is the one. So you might get questions such as these two. Round to three decimal places. And you might be given a number like 1245.4. Okay, so first thing you might notice is that I only have one decimal place in this number, and that's the four after the decimal point. So if you're asked to round to three decimal places and you're only given one decimal place, you need to add some numbers on to that. What numbers do you add? Well, the only numbers you can add are zeros, otherwise it won't be correct. So this number rounded to three decimal places is actually 1245.400. The point of that being if you're comparing numbers and they're all rounded to three decimal places, you can see that that number um, is actually 1245.4 and there's nothing after that four. You might get an example like round to two significant figures and you'll be given a number like 0 0.355. Well, the first thing that I would do is underline the number in this, that is the second significant figure. So the first significant figure here is the first number from the left that's not a zero. So the first significant figure is actually the three. The second significant figure is the five. So I need to round off to that hundredths place. So highlight the number next door. Is it five or more? Yes, it is, so I need to add one to that five. So 0 0.355 rounded to two significant figures will be 0 0.36. If you need extra practice, I'll put some problems in the description underneath this video with the answers. Um, I hope, hope that's been helpful. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.